We're here at AUSA 2018 and I'm speaking with Sean Billette, CEO Endeavour Robotics. Sean, uh, we're standing beside an example of, of Endeavour's offer to the USDOD for the Common Robotic System Individual right. Program. Yep. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your offering and the program in general? Sure. I can tell you a very little about our offering because we're right now in the middle of a competition. Uh, our competitor has not seen the robot. Uh, only the customer and our engineers have seen the robot. So that's why we have it veiled currently. Um, but what we've done is we've developed an under 25 pound robot uh, for use for dismounted EOD operations as well as infantry. It's the next generation of robotic capability. It's light, lighter than anything that's fielded. Uh, it's more capable it's uh, less expensive, it's a whole new generation um, of robotic capability. It's, uh, has an, it incorporates the interoperability protocol, which is sort of like the USB of uh, robots for accessories and uh, putting on new capabilities relatively easily, easily inexpensively and quickly. Um, so we're very excited about this, this program. We're in the middle of the competition right now. Uh, currently this week we have trials underway and uh, the government award should be in the March time frame. Uh, and are there any sort of uh, you know additional timeline details, quantity details, anything along those lines that you can disclose? Sure. Uh, so it's envisioned to be a few thousand robots. So it's a significant number of robots to go out to Army infantry squads as well as dismounted EOD and combat engineers. So it's a large quantity. It's a, it's much bigger procurement than a lot of other uh, procurements the Army has done previously. And it, once it's in place, it'll be supported and maintained for an additional 10 to 15 years. So this is really going to set the stage for what the Army is using to operate at the uh, non-vehicle borne troop level. Are there any technical details, uh, you know, any performance parameters, criteria that you can disclose? Sure, absolutely. So it's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, an under 25 pound uh, tracked vehicle. Uh, it's able to go over obstacles, climb up stairs. Uh, it has a manipulator arm uh, that can lift objects and manipulate them uh, below grade as well as above the robot. Um, it's highly capable. It's, um, I, I, well, I can't tell you the exact speed. It's a, it's a very fast robot. Um, so we're, we're very excited about the capabilities it brings to bear. It has uh, night vision capability, it has um, a uh, uh, pan, tilt, zoom uh, camera. So it really gives a lot of capability to the warfighter. Excellent.